Hello everyone, welcome to Paramita Tech. A lot of things come into our mind when we hear the word culture. Culture consists of many aspects like belief, rules of conduct, patterns of social, political and economical organizations. But coming to Indian culture, there are many aspects to look into. If we go some more years back to ancient India, the cultures and traditions are seen in people, reflected in people. But now, can we see those cultures? No, they are faded off. But as there is a drastic change in technology and development, we can, we can come to know by scientists that there are many scientific facts hidden behind these cultures and traditions. We can just say that our Indian culture is not only for traditions but also for welfare of everyone. A culture is a thing which is carried forward and transmitted from generations onwards. But our culture which is followed by our ancestors are treated as nothing but just a belief. No, it's not just a belief. There are many proven facts hidden behind these cultures. We can say that the names are different but not the meaning. They call it culture or tradition, but we call it a scientific fact. There are many scientific facts hidden behind these cultures and traditions. Okay, let me give some examples and get you know about many scientific facts. How do we greet? If you are shaking hands, never do that because we have the best way of greeting. That is Namaste. Namaste or Namaskar is an Indian culture where people greet by joining both the hands fingertips ends like this Namaste. It also has a science behind. By pressing all these points our eyes, ears, mind get activated so that we can remember the person for a longer time. So it, our old culture is much more better than shaking hands because we all know the disadvantages of shaking hands as it may leads to many transmission of germs and viruses. So this old culture Namaste is followed in all the countries during this pandemic. Can you imagine the sky without suns and stars? How incomplete it looks, how odd it looks, eschew the idea in. Similarly, a face without a tilak looks the same, it incompletes our beauty. Yes, Tilak or Sindur is a beautiful Indian culture where people apply Tilak in between the eyebrows. This point is called as a major nerve point. And the science hidden is that by pressing this point Agnya Chakra, it facilitates our blood supply in the facial muscles so that we look beautiful. How can you send sanctifying signals to our subconscious mind? Yes, it is through ringing the bells in temples. People ringing the bell in temples is the Indian culture where the sound which is produced activates our left and right parts of the brain so that we can feel calm, pleasant and we can keep full concentration. And the echo which is produced by the bell activates all the healing centers in our body and clears out all the negativity. So this is the reason people advise you to go visit temples to find some peace. Do you take rest after exhausting? Yes, we do take rest after exhausting. Then don't your organs need it? Indian culture introduces fasting. Fasting is the Indian culture where people do not take in food and be in meditation or devotion. This is not something that people make themselves weak. No, it is not like that. By fasting, our digestive organs take some rest and clears out all the toxic materials which are accumulated in our body so that we don't suffer from any diseases and our digestive system will be healthy and fit enough. It looks funny if someone says, hey, don't sleep in that direction, sleep in this direction. It looks funny for us, but to understand this, we have a science that is, Indian culture says us to do not sleep by pointing our head, pointing to not. The reason is that if we all have our own magnetic field while the earth is a giant magnet. If we sleep our head pointing to not direction, our magnetic field becomes asymmetrical to the magnetic field of the earth. So that we may suffer from many diseases related to blood pressure, heartbeat, etc. So that is the reason why people advise you to do not sleep pointing 
our head pointing to north. Colors on hands. Yes, it's mehendi. Mehendi, applying mehendi not only makes our hands attractive, but also has a proven fact. People, a bride applying mehendi is an Indian culture that a bride apply mehendi during the weddings. The reason is, is that by applying mehendi on the hands and feet, it clears out all the burning tents which are which is there in our body. So during weddings, a bride feels very tensed. By applying mehendi, it clears out all the burning tents. NLP and acupuncture are of modern days, but our Indian culture gave a crux of these two centuries ago by introducing Indian women wearing bangles. Indian women wearing bangles is one of the beautiful Indian culture which I feel. Because it, it not only makes our hands and we look attractive, but also has a beautiful scientific reason behind. By, uh, by wearing bangles in the hand, wrist part of the hand, the reason is that it, it creates a constant friction in our hand so that our blood circulation levels increases and we will be healthy and fit enough. Posh culture advises us to stand and eat, but our Indian culture advises us to sit on floor and eat. Why? What is the reason? Our Indian culture advises us to sit on the floor and eat. The reason is that by sitting on floor and eating, we usually sit in Sukhasan or half Padmasan position. By sitting in that position and eating, it automatically triggers our digestive system to prepare for digestion so that our digestive system will be healthy. This is the reason why people advise you to sit on floor and eat. So, there are many beneficial and scientific facts hidden behind these cultures and traditions. So, if, if you follow all these cultures and traditions which I have said, people say, hey, why are you following all these cultures and traditions? Don't be in old culture and old uh, world. Come to modern generation, people say. But, you are actually being in modern generation by knowing all the scientific facts hidden behind and following this beautiful Indian culture. So, I advise you all to follow our Indian culture which has its own benefits. What, what I feel that our Indian culture has many scientific facts behind. So, our India is scientifically developed many years ago in the name of cultures and traditions. The name might be different but the meaning is same. So, I advise you all to follow Indian culture and be healthy. Thank you.